Sunnah of the Natural Disposition Various Acts of Sunnah The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Ten acts are the acts according to fitrah, natural state. Clipping the moustache, letting the beard grow, using the tooth stick, cleansing the nose with water, alistin shark, cutting the nails, washing the finger joints, plucking the hair under the armpits, shaving the pubes, and cleaning one's private part after easing or urinating with water. The narrator said, I have forgotten the tenth. Editor's note, for a point of benefit, the tenth point is circumcision. Starting with the right. He used to like to start with the right when putting on the shoes, when walking, in his purification, when giving and taking something, when eating and drinking, However, he would use the left when relieving himself and the likes or removing any impurity. Hair The Prophet ﷺ either cut all of his hair or left all of it. Siwak The Prophet ﷺ loved using the siwak. He would use it whilst fasting and when not fasting, after waking up, when performing ablution, just before the prayer, when entering the home, he would use it a type of branch called Arak. Perfume. The Prophet loved perfume and used it much. Beard and moustache. The Prophet ﷺ said, Do the opposite of what the pagans do. Keep the beards and cut the moustaches short. Time. Anas bin Malik said, A time limit was set for us by the Messenger of Allah ﷺ regarding trimming the moustache, clipping the nails and plucking the pubes. We were not to leave that for more than 40 days. On one occasion he said, 40 nights. His speech, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aisha radiallahu anha said, The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not speak quickly like you do now. Rather, he would speak very clearly, unmistakably. Those who sat with him would memorize it. Whenever the Prophet ﷺ said something, he would repeat his words thrice so that the meanings would be understood fully and whenever he came upon a group of people, he would greet them and he would repeat salutation thrice. He ﷺ did not speak when there was no need. However, when he spoke, he spoke concisely with few words with great and significant meaning. He ﷺ never spoke about matters that did not concern him. Rather, he spoke about things he hoped to gain reward from. He وسلم, never spoke indecently, nor did he engage himself in the use of obscene language, nor was he loud.